All right, Lord's will, this is an edifying lesson. You know, I'm um, giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem, Uh Double honors to the apostles of GMS. And uh, without further ado, just getting straight to it. Uh, this is actual footages of what's happening earlier today. And this is a result of the, uh, the I'm going to say the, the Israelis, all right, as they, you know, call, call by state and uh, the uh, Palestinians. Okay, uh, they're in a full out war right now. And this is all due to prophet. We're going to get it, man. We're going to get it, man. You know, in the scriptures. But right here is happening on the American soil. And with stuff like this uh, starting to build up, you know, the immediate thing that uh, comes to mind, which I'll get is in Matthew, the 24th chapter. All right. But uh, I just want to play a few other foot uh, images just so you can see this actual uh, stuff happening. Um As you can see, this is what's happening in Times Square. They have the uh, Palestinian flags. They have the uh, Israeli flags or the you know the Jewish flag out there. Um, some words I ought to be careful just in case of for flagging purposes because they don't want no narratives to be spoken on this. More than likely, all right. But uh, you know this is going to be a heightened thing of anti-domestic uh, terrorism and things of that nature. Which is just going to lead to Esau sharpening his sword. Um, I'm pretty sure these are things that they knew about. There's probably agent provocateurs there. You know, this is all all sorts of stuff. But this is also ultimately what I'm going to res resolute to of the Most High's prophecy. All right. Um, you know, knowing the bottle, he's punching him. All right. Some of them probably know each other, you know, work for the organization. You know what I mean? Then you got the uh, officers out there. Some who may know what's up. Some of them who may not know. All right. One video, there was a there was a damn bomb that was tossed. It looks like right here. Boom! It's a damn explosion that just happened. So, look, the counter. It just said counterterrorism squad. So yeah, you're gonna have that heightened thing up in the cities right now. You know, the city is just the worst place that's going to be, all right? Um, all, hell, all hell is having, ha is breaking loose now. Um, so, you seen the video. Right now, let's, let me just get this. Oh, actually, I'm in Ezekiel, all right? What's, what's about to happen? Um, remember, you just had a bill, anti-vid uh, bill passed due to the hate crime. It was a hate crimes bill that was just passed for all... Uh, um, you know, the Asians and right now you just have this breaking out on American soil. Now, this is also remember, this is uh, due to an ongoing uh, situation that has been going on for years where they're fighting over allegedly what's the, who pertains the right to the Holy Land. Neither one, but the Lord is putting the spirit on them to uh, fill out his fulfillment of of judgment of where he's going to judge the nations and where the, the Middle East. But uh, also there's going to be a judgment here on this soil over here, Babylon the Great. And this is going to be a buildup of these race riots right now. All right. But also, they're using some of these little small situations where Esau's going to sharpen his sword. He's going to be tapping into more phones. He's going to be, um, you know, having robots, algorithms, all types of stuff. Because you just had an article that released about uh, their secret uh, army, 60,000 men, who's different faces. They changed this, you know, called the uh, signature, uh, um, I forgot, uh, unit. But nevertheless, all right, Esau is going to use this to sharpen his sword. It's just there's a reason behind this, all right. Um, and you probably see them speak out on a news conference, and you know they're going to have to address this, right? But anyway, this is Ezekiel 28, 21 and eight. It says, "Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord: Say a sword is a sword is sharpened and also furbished. Now." What is a sword uh, made to do? Well, verse 10, it'll explain it itself. It is sharpened to make a sword slaughter. All right, now, who really do they want to slaughter, okay? They really want to slaughter you, uh, those who oppose the government, all right? The elect, all right? They really want to slaughter those who oppose the government.
the government, but not just the elect. There's also individuals out there who are such so-called patriots and below. They want to they want to take away um, and, and put you underneath their um, B system. All right. By way of uh, chipping. All right. But it has to be a chaos. All right. And this is the result of the chaos. All right. Through these tensions between these two nations, through the tensions of the vid, through the tensions of uh, Black Lives Matter protests. All right. There's this seem to be nonstop activity. And this is ultimately all right. What is being designed by this devil? OK, the, the most high is using him. All right. But ultimately is the Lord that's going to fully bring in a full out judgment. All right. So it says um, now, what am I bringing out this for? Because what this leads to is <clears throat> them having to uh, sharpen their sword against which will probably be considered domestic terrorism and anti uh, hate crime. How do we uh, be able to know it before it happened and things of that nature? So, all right, it says it is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? Right now, this is a real good question because. You know, is it the time for you to really be in a mirthful spirit? Is it the time for you to be looking for mirth? All right. And this is more so the Lord putting uh, um, his men. All right. That's in a no more on a, on a check on a notice that. Listen, these uh, when you go to the city, right, you go to the city to shop, to eat at good restaurants, to chill. All right. But how could you be uh, eating in the city and chilling when there's a fucking full out bombs being tossed and men attack each other and officers running all over the place? You know, and you eating outdoors in the dining area and you get a fucking uh, a Palestinian flag inside your salad. All right. With a, with a, with a, with a damn uh, a, a bomb, um, <laughs> smoke bomb. All right. With your drink, you know, but this all seriousness, this is what's happening. And this is not just going to settle on easy. This this tension has been going on for years. So it's not like, well, this is something that's going to blow over. No, this has been going on for years. This is just now being put at a height right now. And the heightened tensions is not going to settle down. OK, it is. It is going to get worse. All right. Because this is the falling of the society. All right. So you that's amid with BLM protests. That's amid, you know, with. Um. Um. um I forgot there was another. Uh major activity or the vid, you know, the the the, the, the jab. <clears throat> okay, people don't believe in that, taking that. So there's there there's a big opposition in which they're okay with. All right, because what they're gonna do is they're gonna they're sharpening their sword. All right, it could Tim the rod my son as every tree, and he have given it to be to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. Now we know the slayer is talking about who? It's talking about Esau, all right? This society, all right? Uh, Babylon the Great, all right? The beast, the whore who rides the beast, all right? It is the, given into the hand of the slayer. The ability to tap into technology for them to create a program uh, where there are 60,000, over 60,000 individuals who you don't know, name, never seen, can change names on the internet, off the internet, creating this, doing that, you know, pretty much units. Like where you seen um the movie um, uh, and then they've been putting it on a lot of their movies, but the last one is one with Michael B. Jordan where they pretty much thought they were uh, getting that Syrian troops, <clears throat> but they were getting that Russian troops because they wanted to create a war. Now everybody was losing trust right inside of the society due to the vid. Oh man, five G technology. Everybody was looking at it. Now so why not them? And now this is also a prophecy, but why not this devil create, okay, a bad guy, all right, by, um, you know, when you watch the movie with Michael B. Jordan, they went over there and they actually killed the actual Russian, all right, and on and, and this um and and um was it in America? It was in Syria, I believe it was, all right. And what they were doing was Russians was killing. Americans on their soil and then what they were going to do, but they, 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 yeah, they were killing Americans on here, but they wanted a Russian dead body. So they killed a Russian. They own, they, this was part of the whole plan. He said, I'm ready. And they shot him. All right. 
so they can see that this is a Russian man who Russian individuals who did this. All right. And then they sent him, um, Michael B. Jordan and the team and the squad over to Russia, but they sent them over there to to die. All right. So there could be Americans dying in, on a Russian soil so that they could say, oh, Americans attacked us. Anyway, it was more or less. Everybody knew there's some pawns who knew that knew, knew, um, who had an understanding of what was going on and that they was going to play by. It. And then there was individuals who didn't have an understanding, who thought they were doing the right thing. But nevertheless, it was all a trick. All right. It was all a trick for them to start a war because the key thing he said is that people were starting to look at us, and not trust us. So we have to create a monster so they don't trust. All right. <laughs> Who's better than the Russians? Right. And that ultimately is going to be the 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 the. the, the what is going to happen according to prophecy anyway all right but um not to get too far off the topic all right um yeah everybody wasn't trusting them doing a 5g and this and that so now it you know on the, the shooting of the cops so the, the, you know so now boom you know there's gonna be this whole thing with the uh <laughs> you know the terror you know this, this you know it, it's it's like this is this is this is gonna this is gonna be a big thing with the Palestinians and this and that they're gonna they're gonna draw out a new enemy they're gonna come at brothers you know they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna draw out a new enemy all right and they're gonna paint the picture that this is the problem right here see they're not wearing the mask see they're not following the direction see they they're against this see they say they don't belong in the land see it's them these 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 are the terrorists these are the these are the individuals right all right when um when um <laughs> By truth, they are, all right? Who's running up in other people's lands, dropping bombs and doing all this, killing, making these, bring people into captivity and slavery, all right? Enslave people. That That is that is an act of, of, of crazy terror. But anyway, this is uh, verse 12. It says, Crowling house, son of man, for this shall be upon my people, all right? It shall be upon all the princes of Israel, all right? The reason why is because well, let me read. It says, terror by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Smite, therefore, upon our thigh, because it is a trial. All right? And this is what this what is going to happen. The most high is going to be a trial upon earth. And what if the sword contempt even a riot shall be no more, saith the Lord? All right? So this is going to be the trial run on, on, on his people. All right? And you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're going to be caught up in this. So, you know... <laughs> The Instagram life is going to be over, all right, because you can't be out here and there doing this and that when you got a full out uh, um, situation like this going on. All right. Now, let's um, let me jump to the uh, Matthews uh, 24 and, you know. Speaking on this, these situations is. To keep you up on your to keep you up on your toes, to keep you up on, on date of what's happening, to keep you up on uh, measuring the times, to keep you, you know, in the in crowd of things. Seeing this, all right, it has an effect on it should have an effect on how you should move. It should have an effect on your prayers. It should have an effect on uh pointing you in the direction. All right, because more that that's the purpose of it, you know. Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. All right. Now, there's no longer a rumor of war because we actually see bombs being dropped. All right. It says, see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet for nation shall rise against nation. These are two different nations. OK. At war with each other. And it's in L.A. One, uh, the brother actually, Priest Rob, uh, Priest Anwar, my um, sent out one. This is one in New York. And brothers uh, sent out uh, one that's in L.A. So. This is also in the, in the states and kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines. We know of the famines happening already. OK, because you had a, a, a Ethiopia a heavy famine um, with the lo the plague. The locusts have been eating up all the crops. All right. There's also uh, been a famine due to what, a lack of access of resources uh, when the canal was even blocked. OK. The canal was blocked, okay. Um, um, the 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 the, uh, the ship that was stuck, all right, where it was like billions of dollars a day that was um, being lost. 
So cattle will go bad. Things will actually go bad. During this whole shutdown process, the whole world was shut down. There was famines because there was what? It was actually no import export and the thing. So so there was a there was a, a less access to certain things. That's why you was only put on rations. Everybody was being put on rations practically on uh, one amount of water bottle. There's some place that didn't have the steaks, some restaurants that didn't have, you know, the burger meat. All right. That is a, a famine. OK. Due to the lack of access to certain uh, things, certain foods. Pestilences. Need I say more? What is this whole jab process about? You know, the Krispy Kreme jab is all about. The pestilences that was put out on here, okay? And earthquakes in diverse places, all right? And earthquakes, I'll just type it in and it'll, it'll pop up all over the place. But so the key point right now was that the nation is rising against nation, right? Let's get this in um, um, second edges 13. Um, 31. And one, and one shall undertake the fight against another. One city against another, one place against another, one people against another, and one realm against another. This is what's written in the book of Edris. Well, what people is fighting against the pe pe another people? The the Palestinians versus the Jews. All right? You're going to have black versus whites. You're going to have so-called Chinese versus this. All right? So this this is uh, what's happening. And then the one realm, well, what is the biggest thing about <laughs> uh, the realm is that they what? These uh, so-called UFOs. So-called UFOs that's now being put on a highlight of the news all of a sudden in these last days. All right. So second edge is 15. This is being put on put on um on display in 15. For the sword and their destructive draw, if not, one people shall stand up and fight against another in swords in their hands. The modern day sword is the gun. All right. And this is what you see and starting to see. Right, that's that's not that. It, this is this is all playing out all at once. It's not like one thing is slowing down. The vid is still at all height, right? The tensions in the Middle East is, is at all height, okay. And now you got people over here running around, throwing swords out on each other, all right, fighting each other in the middle of Midtown, where people are supposed to be really just chilling, shopping, eating at the best restaurants. You have an actual bombs being tossed and individuals running and fighting. This is what's happening. But you know what? That's going to happen there because guess what? They all got set up stands, food stands. They own a lot of business here, just considering the Palestinians. And then forget about, it, you know, the uh, Israelis, right? <laughs> Use that terminology. You know, they run a lot of spots here. You know, you see the different diamond districts. So, you know, you'll have one of them. They know, oh, this person run this diamond just They go throw, rob it, and do this. They're hitting, and this person hit their business. They're in a full-out war. You know, they run up in a mosque. They do this. or that. You know, it, it's going to be crazy. It is crazy right now, but it's going to be crazy. All right? So, you know, this, this, is, this is what's happening. A man shall... Um, uh, verse 16, for there shall be a sedition among men. There's going to be an uprising against the government. All right? Because the government's going to have to get involved. The government's going to come with down the regulations. They're not going to like the regulations. This is going to affect other people. All right, now because this is going on, we're going to have to tap into everybody's phone and bank account and seize this and seize that. And, you know, we don't know where this money is being put towards and this. So and not everybody's going to be with it. All right? And there's going to be an uprising against the government. And invading one another, they shall not regard their kings, their kings or princes, right? Did anybody's regarding the uh, the officers and and, and and things of that nation? No. In the course of their actions, shall stand in their power. So this city is about to be look like look like shit. A man shall decide to go into the city and shall not be able. All right. Now you know what's big in uh how you get to the city public transportation. All right. Subways will be blocked off. All right. Um, you know, it's going to be hard to even travel, you know, they'll be scanning everything, you know, <laughs> you got, you got the vid, oh, you got the jab, let me see, you got the jab, hmm, who are you, you know, what's your whereabouts of going over here, or they already did it with essential workers, people who actually had to show their badge to get on the train, all right, they had to show their badge, so how much more 
and them just creating a system where we have to know your whereabouts. You only able to go on this train if you're going to work or go here. This is this is what it's tur tur turned into. All right. Um, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. All right. And this is uh, ultimately the Lord is getting out this great pride that's that's been in this land. All right. But um, you seen it. You know, just a real quick lesson. Until the next time, Shalom.